All right, so you're basically looking at the cabinet uh, from, from the front perspective. And immediately below here is going to be the, the dust collection. So what I need to do is drill, uh, uh, make, make an opening here for um, uh, the, the table saw. Essentially the, the base is going to rest here and the dust is going to fall hopefully to the bottom there. Um, as I mentioned before, the back of the table saw is uh, it has a pro it's a little design issue with uh, uh, the motor that sweeps back and forth. So I've got this base that the table saw is going to sit on top of and essentially it's going to line up right there. Uh, so but for right now what I'm going to do, I've drilled uh, four holes and I'm just going to take the uh, uh, jigsaw and cut an opening. All right. All right, so what I'm doing here is this, this thing's going to start wrapping. All right, so what I'm doing here is this, this thing's going to start rattling. So I'm just going to put a quick support on there. So as I'm sawing it, the board just doesn't go crazy on me. So just some quick hold downs. There you go. All right, so I uh, apologize for the shaky cam, but I want to get a, get a kind of a close-up look of what's what's going on inside here. So we've got uh, we've got we've got the ramp with the opening, and that's just the part that I just cut. And uh, yeah, should hold nicely. And the sawdust it falls down to the bottom. Yay! Gravity works. Looking at the underside of the table saw, I was, I was able to take it off the base. So here we are, we're looking at the underside of the table saw, I was, I was able to take it off the base. And I uh, went ahead and I'm using the, this as uh, the cabinet itself as a support. So the, the way the frame attaches, uh, it's got uh, essentially a set of bolts here. When I first created this and with every every project you're going to have some uh, design changes discoveries as, as things come along so what I did was uh, I had my original frame and when I lined up the holes they were sticking uh, they, they didn't line up uh, quite right with with the frame so essentially I put a two by four in there so the goal here is going to be to line this on the bottom and draw some hole some uh, marks on the base and then I'll uh, go ahead and drill some holes and bolt it in from the bottom here. All right, so uh, back from the uh, hardware store. Um, so I've got a little design issue going on um, when I drill, measured for the holes in the, uh, in for, to fit this. Essentially, the holes lined up uh, directly over the, the gap here uh, between the, the two woods. So, and yeah, but it's one of those things you just wouldn't know until you took it apart and started playing around with it. I didn't account for these holes being recessed uh, as far as they were. So essentially what I'm going to do is I'm going to drill holes to accommodate uh, so that the, the, it's in the middle of the wood and uh, then we'll just fix it for the other one and see how she goes from there. All right. Two and a half on center. One and a half on center. Tight. Yeah. 
sharp drill bit do make a difference. <laughs> All right, that should be plenty to hold it in place. Okay, so uh, if that's so there was a so uh, so essentially what I'm going to do is I'm going to me measure off. I'm just going to mount on the these holes here. So I've got uh, two two inches coming in from the edge, and uh, so I got that, and I've confirmed that those two are 12 and a half inches apart. So I've drilled essentially the the start holes here that will support that, and then I'm just going to come down. I got a little flexibility here, but it looks to be about 18, let's see, center to center, about 18 and a half center to center. All right. All right, so I said two inches in. I've already marked it. Nice little square. I said 18 inches on center. So where does that put me? So I said, ah, uh, all right. So if I come down 18 inches, what I want to do is line it up just right. Yeah, that has to even at the bottom edge of that. That has to be 18 and a half. So, well. Eighteen and a half. Eighteen and a half puts a dead center of the plywood, but I think that's going to be okay. I'm going to pre-drill it two inches in, and I'm just eyeball it here, dead center. Swear to go. Make sure I got that lined up right. That's a little off. Okay. So just go straight down the middle of this. I don't know anything about plywood, so I'm sure that somebody out there is going to be like, no, that's the wrong thing to do. So essentially, uh, I'm just going to be using some uh, wood lag bolts to hold it in place. And uh, we'll get it uh, mounted here and uh, flipped over and see where we go from there. All right. So we're in handheld mode, so pardon the uh, jerky camera. So just to give you an idea how it's attached on. So I've got the base on there. It looks pretty, pretty darn straight for an amateur. Where I've uh, just attached a lag bolt in there. I just uh, had drilled the hole and uh, put it in there. Um, I would recommend, though, as you're working on the inside of your um, table saw, that you go ahead and remove the blade. Uh, yeah, I, I almost had a, a couple of cut knuckles in there while I'm uh, uh, bolting that sucker down. All right, so the next step, attaching the base to the body. And I think what I'm going to do on this, I'm a big fan of uh, screw and glue. So I'm going to essentially just put a bead of glue around the perimeter, uh, around the perimeter here. And uh, I'm going to put some pocket screws. Um, for the most part, I've tried to have the uh, uh, cabinet look you know, with hidden screws. Um, and if I want to go hidden screws, I've got to go from the inside in here. And to go from the inside, I, then I have to reach in from the top to come in to screw it in and that's just a pain in the ass. So uh, I'm going to put a couple of pocket holes on the outside here, the backs and the side and uh, then I think we're good to go. Okay so I'm going to be using uh, uh, my new Craig uh, pocket hole jig and uh, so it's essentially it's, it's a really neat device. You just uh, put it onto the top here you come in with your drill 
and you drill a hole uh, that uh, is recessed so that it's, it's flush to the top. Um, the, um, it's, it's, like I said, it's pretty, pretty straightforward to do. The fir first thing you need to do when you're, when you're doing it is figure out how the depth of your wood that you're going to be going in. And it's probably hard to see here on the camera. But uh, so you just dial it into your depth. So I'm going to go, this is 3 quarter inch. So I'm, I'm going to have it uh, come through here. I'm not going to come through this part right here. So dial 3 quarter inch on both sides. And there's some arrows that, that uh, line up there. And you just put it on there. Now the, pro the problem is this thing will slide around if you're not, not careful. So you could spend the 30 some odd dollars for the, you know, their specialized grip. And quite frankly, that thing is a son of a bitch to use. And uh, if you have varying pieces of wood, it's supposed to help because you shouldn't have to adjust it. Um, honestly, a regular old clamp will work just fine on it. You can take that uh, housing off. And just pops off like that. Boom. So put it in, and what I'm going to do is put uh, some holes, uh, you know, on this side and on this side, so I can get my drill in from that that side. So I just put it on there, clamp it in. It's pretty hard plastic, so I mean, you really have to torque it to, to hurt it bad. All right. So what's the next thing? Next thing is essentially the the drill bit that that goes in there. The drill bit has got a, a collar on it, so you don't want to drill too far into it. Um, and on the inside of the case, this is what makes the case worthwhile, don't throw this away, is your, uh, there's a gauge on the inside in, in here. And so what you do, you take your drill bit, you put it in there like so, and on the inside, get this out of the way, on the inside is a measuring uh, uh, you, yeah, on the inside is a, a scale so that you can know how far to set your um, uh, your collar. I've already got this set for three fourths, but essentially it's just a um, uh, set screw uh, that locks it down. So, and it comes with two holes on the top. You can use either one or both. I don't know what the best suggestion is, but. All right. Gotta make two here. Oh, shoot. It does want to move on you a bit, so I'm going to. Work. Back it out. Just drifted just a hair. So you can see the pocket hole that it makes right there. All right. Yeah. A little tighter this time. Come in. There it goes. side. I'll lock it down a little tighter this time. Okay, and then that's pretty much it till I'm ready to mount the box on the side. I'm going to put some more along the side here, but it'd be just silly to keep showing that. All right.